Kevin will grant us grace and strength to pray in Jesus' name. The Bible said that men ought to pray and not to faint. And I pray the grace to pray you will give to us in Jesus' name. I just want to start off by just giving God thanks. The Bible said in the book of Psalms 100 verse 4, Enter his gate with thanksgiving and his court with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. I just want to begin to say, Father, I thank you for everything you have done, the things you are doing, and the things you do in this month and beyond in Jesus' name. Let's be giving praise. Oh God of heaven, we just want to thank you, God, for we know you are a good God. Faithful is he that has promised and he will bring it to pass. We thank you for all you're doing in our lives. We look around us and we can see your hand. We can see you, O God, in our midst. We can see you, O God, in our lives. Father, we say be that we're exalted. Father, we say be that glorified. Father, we say be praised forever. In the name of Jesus, we look back, O God, to 2021, to 2020, to 2018, to all even before by the days we are born. And we thank you for our how far you brought us, and what you are even doing even Thank now. You, we say be thou exalted, O oh God. We give, we you, give you all the praise, O oh God. Rapid in Jesus' Rapid. name, we are praying. The scripture says clearly in Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2, But your iniquities have separated you from your God. Your sins have eaten his face from you, so that he will not hear. But I pray the God of heaven we hear us today in Jesus' name. Let us pray and say, merciful Father, forgive all my sins and shortcomings that in that's my prayer in Jesus' name. Let's be to pray. Oh God of heaven, I just commit myself unto you, oh God. I pray, oh God, that any sin in my life, any shortcoming, any sin of uh, 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 the sin of commission, the sin of uh, omission, the sin of pride, the sin of talking too much, the sin of jesting, the sin of, uh, of lukewarmness, the sin of, uh, of, of slothfulness, the sin of laziness, the sin of uh, God, whatever kind in our midst, either uh, uh, of fornication, adultery, we ask for mercy. Jesus, we ask for God that your blood that speaks better than the blood of Abel. We speak for us that not will hinder our prayers today in Jesus' name. Thank you for it, so in Jesus' name we are praying. Today's prayer focus is I, I receive grace to march forward. And I pray the good of heaven will grant us that grace to march forward in Jesus' name. He said in the book of Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Say, Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Today we're going to say, mighty God, may the powers that turn the goodness you do in man's life into evil and sorrow, may their hands be cut off that they will not turn my goodness in my life to sorrow in Jesus' name. Let's be praying. Oh God of heaven, Lord, today we take our stand, oh God, against such a God, the powers and the personalities that want to turn the goodness of God to evil, that want to turn the good, that want to turn our light to darkness, that want to turn our sweets to bitter. I say, oh God of heaven, let them receive judgment today in the name of Jesus, and let that evil hand that want to turn our star, that want to turn oh God, our, our, our goodness around, that want to overturn it. That, that, that goodness that God has given unto us, that they want to change it to limitation. I say, let the hands be cut off today in the name of Jesus. That the powers that does not allow so much forward, I say, receive judgment today in Jesus' name. We are praying. Songs of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 15 says, Catch for us the foxes, the little foxes that ruin the vineyard, our vineyards that are in bloom. Brothers and sisters, what destroyed marriages? What destroys a man's life is not even the big things. What kills a man? You know, when they, when they say people die from accidents, those are a few things that kill them. But one of the greatest killers, heart attack, stroke, and things like that. Things that people do not know. That little by little, they're creeping into people's lives. Today we're going to receive Heavenly Father. Catch and put under bondage. Every little fox in my life, whatever it is, that, that little fox in your marriage, that little fox in your career, that little fox in your health, that little fox against your peace. That the God of heaven, we catch them and we put them to shame in Jesus. Now let's be the pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, we pray and we declare in the name of Jesus. We pray and we declare that everything that represents the little fox in our life. That the ones who destroyed our vineyard. The vineyard of our marriage. The vineyard of our, of our peace. The vineyard of our career. The vineyard of our finances. The vineyard of our health. The vineyard of, 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 of God's grace of our life. The vineyard of the ministry. That are lot little fox that has been sent into our life. I say today, let them be put under bondage. Let such foxes be destroyed. Let such foxes be cut off 
from us today in the name of Jesus that we will move our hand and we will advance in Jesus name we are praying Isaiah chapter 41 verse 18 say I will make rivers flow on barren heights and springs within the valleys I will turn the desert into pools of water and patch ground into springs to do in the my father my God cause every valley that the enemy has drained up in my life to become an oasis of blessings now in Jesus name let's be to pray oh God of heaven Lord we pray and we declare that that thing over in my life that the enemy has caused to become barren that the enemy has caused to become dry that become caused to become a uh, uh, desert I pray today let them become oh Lord, let the power of God come into them and let cause them to become an oasis of blessings in the name of Jesus let oh God our lives uh, that the enemy that, that the thing that the enemy has turned around has drained that we are saying where is God in this matter let them become our an oasis of blessing in Jesus name we are praying second Kings chapter 3 verse 17 for this is what the Lord says you will see neither rain wind nor rain yet this valley will be filled with water and your cattle and your other animals will drink we are praying that God will move us forward. It will cause us to march forward. We're going to pray to mighty God. Father, by your power, cause every valley in my life to be filled with water. That's why I might not see rain. That's why I might not see cloud. That's why I might not see wind. In the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. That, oh Lord, that you, by your power, that every valley of our life, oh God, that is empty, let them receive water right now. In the name of Jesus, we say, oh Lord, in that word of God, that next part we do not see rain, next part we do not see wind, yet our valley will be filled. And we pray, let our valley be filled, regardless of, oh Lord God, what the men are saying, regardless of what the doctor has said, let our valley be filled. We do, regardless of what, oh Lord, oh Lord, the, 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 what people have said, let our valley be filled in the name of Jesus. Thank you for it. So, in Jesus' name, we are praying. First King chapter 19, verse 8. So he got up and ate, that's Elijah, and strengthened by the food, he traveled 40 days and 40 nights until he reached Horeb, the mountain of God. We're going to pray my father, my father, grant me the strength of the strength to march forward to possess my possessions in this month and beyond in Jesus' name. Let us begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, we pray that the same strength, the same grace that you gave to Elijah, that by the by the strength of one bill, he was able to run all over 40 days. I say today we receive that strength to march forward, to possess our possession, that we enter into our whole realm, the mountain of God in Jesus' name. I say the strength to march, oh Lord, to, the, to our whole realm, we receive uh, the strength to run into our whole realm, we receive the strength to run into our whole realm, we receive in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for it. So Lord, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. First Kings chapter 18, verse 46. The power of the Lord came upon Elijah, and tucking his cloak into his belt, he ran ahead of Ahab all the way to Jezreel. Today we are going to present mighty God. Grant me the speed of heaven to recover every lost ground and the ability to run ahead this month and beyond. In Jesus' name, let me pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, I say I receive the strength of God, oh Lord, that the power of God to run ahead, oh God. I say I receive in the name of Jesus in the month of March and onward. I say I, be, I receive strength that I overtake every area in my life. In the name of Jesus, the area in my career, the area in our finances, the area oh Lord God, in our marriages. I say I overtake them now in Jesus' name. Thank you for it. So we bless your name, O oh God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Job chapter 1, verse 10 says, Have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? He has you have blessed the works, the work of his hands, so that his hand and so his flocks and herds are spread throughout the land. We're gonna pray, my father, my God, put your edge of, of glory. And protection around me and, and all that concerns me so that the enemy will not touch me or or, or anyone around me in jesus and let us begin to pray oh god of heaven oh lord, we pray in the name of jesus he said in the book of isaiah he said there shall be gross darkness upon the earth but we shall arise and shine for our light has come 
And I pray, O God of heaven, that let our light arise, O God, now in Jesus' name. Let the edge of God, the edge of glory, the edge of protection be our, around our household. I say every member of our family is marked with the blood of Jesus, that no evil that befall us. Neither shall any play come now at all in place. That when men are saying there's a casting down, which are saying there's a lifting up, that, oh God of heaven, oh Lord, that you shall grant us peace, the peace that surpasses all human understanding. Give to us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Genesis 26, verse 12. Isaac planted crops in the land, and in the same year reaped a hundredfold, because the Lord blessed him. Today we're going to pray, Heavenly Father. Let the grace of Isaac come upon me. That even in the days of famine, I will sow and reap in honor falls in Jesus' name. That, see, brothers and sisters, the war between uh, Russia and um, Ukraine is causing a lot of problems. People used to fill gas, fill the, um, the tank of the gas for $70. Now they're filling it for over $100. People used to do this. Now, now, now we went to the store. Everything seems to have increased by $1. Something that was bought last week for thirteen dollars now is fourteen dollars. Now you can see that there's an increase. There's, there's something going on. Today we don't pray and say, Father God of heaven, the grace to sow in, even in this time to God and reap your hundredfold. Let it come upon me now in Jesus' name. Let's be to pray. We God of heaven, Lord, we pray and we declare in the name of Jesus. I pray, let the grace of Isaac come upon me. The anointing that came upon Isaac, that he sowed in the land, and he reaped the honor for. Let it come upon me now, in the name of Jesus, that in these days of famine, in these days of scarcity, I receive, O oh God, abundance and grace in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for the soul. We bless your name, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 7 says, Also seek the peace and the prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it. Because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Many people are losing their jobs. Many things are happening because of what is going on in Russia and Ukraine. We also want to pray. And say, mighty God, we pray for all the cities of the world. That the peace will reign, O Lord, in Jesus' name. That the children, O God, will live in peace, O God. The Bible said if there is peace. Imagine the Christians are in Ukraine. They cannot say they want to gather to pray, to sleep in peace. The people in Maiduguri, they cannot say they want to sleep in peace because of the Boko Haram's. So it's not just Ukraine alone, a lot of places in the world that there's commotion. So we'll be praying for all the cities of the world that there's this, even in North America, there's actually a, a, a subtle persecution against the church that people cannot preach freely anymore. Today we're going to pray as a God of heaven. Let your peace reign in this land, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let the peace of God that surpass all human understanding manifest to God. And in any way there is chaos, O God, we bring peace there, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Ukraine, in Nigeria, in Sudan, in all the parts of the world, let there be peace. That the children, that the children of God may live in peace. In Jesus' name, let's be to pray. O God of heaven, O Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. We decree and we declare, O God, that the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding we manifest in the land, O God. Which we Lord, which we are in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for it is so God. We give you praise. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus of God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lastly, I go to Job chapter 22, verse 28. Say you will also declare 18. King James Version will say, You decree 18 and it shall be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. Today we're going to say, Mighty God, thank you for we are confident. That we, as we have prayed today, it, you have answered, and it is so in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we know that thank you, God, for we know, oh God, that even as we have prayed today, oh Lord, it is so, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for we know, oh God, you are a God that answers prayers. Thank you, God, for we know, oh God, it is so in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. We bless your name, oh God. We give you praise, oh God. We give you honor, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit Divine. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you, God, for this time of prayer. You said in your word, you said, if my people who are called by my name, we humble themselves and pray that you will hear from heaven and heal the land. Oh God, we, your people, have come, oh God. We have humbled ourselves, knowing, acknowledging that we have no power in ourselves. And we have prayed. 
And we pray, O God of heaven, that you will cause the Lord every prayer point we have raised today to be answered, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And you will even do more than we have even prayed for, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you for it, so God. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying.